Hey, we're rolling here at uh, Tribuco Hills High School in Mission Viejo with Sean Lee, the defending CIF State high jump champion. Uh, Sean just opened his 2018 season with an amazing day, clearing uh, clearing 7-3. Uh, I'd say there's too many emotions to describe how I felt that day, but we'll just say um, I was very excited and very relieved to finally, you know, end a two-year drought of not PRing, and especially with a, you know, a nearly three-inch PR. You woke up as a seven-foot PR. Uh, you went to bed with a <laughs> seven-three PR. The state record is is seven four and a half. Uh, tell us a little bit about your planned assault on that record. Yeah, so I've changed my focus to try to break records this this season. Kind of similar how I used to do it, um, and when I was jumping in youth track. And we're just going to take it, you know, one step at a time. Especially uh, how I did on Saturday. You know, we went seven one. 7-2, 7-3, you know, we're just going to take it one height at a time. And once I, if I can nail 7-4, then we'll take more shots at uh, the state record at 7-4 and a half. I'm glad you mentioned youth track. Tell us a little bit about your history there. I know you, you set quite a few age group records uh, pretty much all the way through, right? Yeah, so I've, I've broken uh, three age group national records from, so age 9 and 10, uh, I jump 1 meter 60 which was 5'3", and then 11, the 12-year-old age group, I jumped uh, 176, or 5'9 and a quarter, and then I, that year I also jumped uh, 180 meters, which was 5'10 and 3 quarters, but it wasn't uh, approved for a national record. And then uh, in 2013 and 14, when I was 13, 14, uh, I jumped 6'6", or 1.98 meters, uh, but I didn't get approved, so the record was uh, 196, was 6'5 and a quarter, but that age group actually, uh, that record got broken already. When we were talking off camera, you mentioned Mount Carmel, how much you liked the track. Uh, tell, tell us about your history at, at the Mount Carmel track. Yeah, so my first time going to that, that track was in 2012. Uh, that's where uh, I'd probably say it was one of my top five favorite competitions. I tied my personal best mm -hmm. and broke the national record, jump 176, 5'9 and a quarter. And then on the next two consecutive jumps, jump 5'10 and 5'10 and three quarters. So that was where the meet I jumped 180. And uh, I've been pretty successful at that meet. Freshman year, that's where I jumped 6'9, PR. And sophomore year, I jumped seven feet there as well. And CIF, you've uh, you medaled at state all three years at this point. Yeah. Uh, the, the defending champion. At what point in your development did you realize that you were going to be this successful at high jump? Uh, I would say maybe when I was 10, because uh, that's when I first broke my first national record. I was able to break it by five centimeters or two inches, which is, you know, a, a lot for uh, set when you're a 10 year old as well. And I thought, man, if I'm able to break the national record by two inches, if I stay dedicated and I work hard and uh, keep myself motivated, I could, you know, continue to be successful. And it has been, you know, I've been since. Your father, Ron, is also your your coach, and he, he was an Oregon State champion with a PR of 7-2 in college, but now you have 7-3. Tell us a little bit about being the king of the household. Yeah, I know. Uh, for a while, he's always been like, yeah, but I still jumped higher than you. I've, I've jumped 7-2. Um, I only jumped seven feet and a quarter at that time. And, uh, you know, it's not something like I really focused on like oh I gotta break his record but um, now that it's happened I'll be like ah, I finally beat it. <laughs> he coaches you and he trains you. Talk, talk a little bit about some of the training we saw today and how you've been able to develop as such an outstanding jumper through that training. Uh, so today was probably one of the more important days in the, the week. It's a plyo plyometric day so normally we uh, usually do warm up and we run uh, uh, run our approaches, just get approach work down. So we run the approach without jumping. And the emphasis is normally on overspeed, but today I'm kind of still like recovering from uh, some soreness from Saturday's meet. Um, but usually the emphasis is like overspeed, so when we get to the meet, we're actually you know, used to running that fast on the approach so we can convert. 
um, during jumps. And then after that, we do uh, did the triple jump, triple jump bounding, and that's just that's part the plyometric part of the, the workout. And then we do some stair bounding and uh, some some short sprints. Mm -hmm. And normally we do some dunks on this day as well, but he took it out for today. But we usually emphasize on like drive and rise, we dunk, we jump, we jump. It's similar to how like when we jump at the plant, drive my arms, get my knee up. You're six foot eight. How high can you jump to dunk? Uh, we used to have a 11 foot rim in my backyard. We elevated it on cinder blocks. And we, I think the max was 11 feet. And I was still able to do it pretty easily. Um, but normally now we just go to the LA Fitness across the, across the street over there. And we just dunk on the 10 foot rim and try to reach as high as I can on my, uh, my forearm. You're going to UCLA. Tell us about that choice and, and what you're looking forward to there. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to go to UCLA, you know, a new chapter in my life. Um, especially love the color blue. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they probably have one of the top, you know, jumping team, high jumping teams in the nation. You know, I've competed with uh, the jumpers that are there. Um, and I know them, you know, I keep in touch with some of them. So I'm pretty excited to, you know, advance my uh, high jump career over there. Yeah, the head coach or the high jump coach, uh, Coach Anderson, he also jumped uh, 7 3 in high school, so I'm tied for him in California State history. So that's a little fun fact. So he's the next person you're going to surpass? Uh, hopefully. So what's it going to take for you to get to, to reach those, those, those height goals that you have set for yourself? So on Saturday, I, you know, it was pretty good meet for where we are right now, but there's still some uh, technical, little technical things I can still work on. Um, it probably wasn't my, my best technical competition, but it was probably better than last year probably overall but you know if we can get those things down uh, I, I believe I can uh, get seven four and a half or higher or higher yeah <laughs> hopefully all right that's uh, that's Sean Lee seven three seven three high jumper defending state champion in California one of the top jumpers in the country um, thank you so much thank you <laughs> Thank you.